Real McCoy TV, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. I checked it out. I looked it up. Figured it out. In football, man, it's the difference between good teams, great teams, winning teams, losing teams. So I'm going to give you a few examples of those. So losing team, I can just go ahead and say there's no disrespect to nobody out there in Texas but Dallas. Dallas is a losing team. They always got tons of talent, great players, but they never seem to achieve whatever their goal is depending on what they got. Um, got the Ravens. Ravens is a good team. You know what I'm saying? You know, Pittsburgh is a great team. Those two teams always in there around the playoffs. Now, the Browns over the last couple of years and the transition from like a really bad losing team, because I'm, I'm a diehard Browns fan. I rep that on 16. You know what I'm saying? Check the history. Check my timelines. You know what I'm saying? FBDP gang on Instagram. I reps my team, my city, BIFC. No profanity on this channel. But listen, the Browns in the transition from a bad team to like last year they were a good team but not a winning team. And that's the difference because they they was a losing team but they weren't no slouch. Kind of how like Cincinnati, the Bengals is this year. Like the Bengals is not no slouch. But they just not a winning team. You know what I'm saying? They Look what they did against the Browns. Man. You could say what you want, how you want to rank the Browns, but from a football perspective, the offensive line for the Bengals was banged up, mad backups, everywhere, everywhere. They put three, they was pretty much two, at least double team and a triple team of Miles Garrett every trip, whether it be offensive lineman, combo him with a tight end, combo him with a running back, but they, they our other D linemen did not meet the call to the point where we was blitzing. We should not be blitzing. We don't have a free safety to be blitzing you got you got to have a free to be blitzing because everybody manned up and then you got to have that person over the top that's supposed to cover we don't have that so we should not be blitzing like we was blitzing against cincinnati he disrespected joe burrows and he almost threw for a crazy amount y'all got him paid that game in the loss he got paid that game that's gone they're gonna remember like he with a beat up offensive line kept getting to go ahead touchdowns so but they're not a winning team this year the Browns are a good team this year, and we transitioning into a winning team. It's hard to deal with. You got a lot of people saying that Odell Beckham was the problem. Shout out to the St. Clair Mafia, man. Shout out to my homies, man. I love y'all. But fell you wild. Fell you wild. <laughs> fell you wild. And they not better with having OBJ. Like, just him, his, how the defense react off his alignment alone. It's the stuff that you that you love to have as a team. It's like just off rip, but I was putting them in the slot. They going to look something like this because they have to. If they don't, we abuse them. So not having them on the field is going to balance things out, which is, I think, actually what Baker needs is because it's going to bring everything more to a traditional field. Like it's going to look more like 4-3, cover 2, cover, you know what I'm saying? You, he gonna be able to see it more because they not so heavily defending Odell. You know what I'm saying? Gotta get Odell his respect because he just really a crazy like that talent is crazy. But we got Las Vegas this week, which I feel like is literally like a mirror match. I don't think they run game is um is as good as ours or they line is as good as ours, but their defense is a lot better than our defense. And their defense is probably going to be, I can't say the best defense they're going to see yet because the Ravens and Pittsburgh really got good defenses. But this should be the last hard defensive test. But we're going to need to play good so that they can be ready for Pittsburgh and Baltimore again. They always come down to the division games in football. But I'm super optimistic about this week. But this is, this is a, this is a toss-up. Like this, like, and I want my Browns to win. I want them to stomp them. But this, they got players. We got players. They ain't been winning lately, but been switching it up, getting a new coach, Gruden, and and they, they, it, it's starting to, it's starting to simmer over there. Just the same way, like, with the Browns this year. It's finally simmering. 
It's finally summer. Last year, we can't even count it as a summer year. It was just too up and down. This year, we can honestly say we summer. Even with Baker not playing elite, elite. But I want to highlight, like, you learn a lot about players and losses, man. You learn a lot about players and losses. And I learned something about Baker Mayfield and that loss against Pittsburgh. Because I was just literally talking to my fam about the game. Because we all diehards. And I was saying, like, we need that rookie year Baker back. That fearless. Like, when he used to drop back, he stayed in the pocket. Like, his, all his elusiveness was in the pocket elusiveness. It wasn't like, I'm going to run out on the edge. Da, 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 da. As soon as he added that to his game, he added the interceptions and the pick six. As <laughs> soon as he added the, I'm going to get loose outside the pocket. No. Now, and I still think Baker has the ability to, like, down in the red zone or even if we need a first down and it's, you know what I'm saying, third and four or whatever, and they run, like, he could run and go get, like, I think he can go get some three to four, three to five yard little scampers, but it's got to be off the dropping back, stepping up into the pocket, and that's what he played really, that was, that was what he did good in Pittsburgh. He was getting racked. He wasn't making a throw yet, but he was like, that's the fundamental of quarterback. You got to drop back, feel the pressure, and step up. You got to. You have to. You have to. You're not going to be the best quarterback you can be if you don't do that. And uh, I think his statement was telling, like, we can trust everybody. I think he was. He really meant that. Everybody, the line, the receivers, the D-line. D-line, y'all got to step up. Y'all getting paid all the money on the Browns, not the pocket watch. But y'all getting paid all the money on the Browns' defense. Like, y'all the reason probably send Dale back there giving all he got. <laughs> I got no problems with send Dale. I think he saved a lot of touchdowns. He always a step late, but better a step late than giving up. Like, he, he saved a lot of touchdowns. He doing what he need to be doing as the free for that defense. Because the linebackers been ain't been making plays, making plays. Because they getting, like, the D-line is cleaning so much up for them. But optimistic and moving forward. Baker is looking a little more comfortable. I can't really super credit this win because it is against a Bengals defense. You know, one he a little familiar with beating up on over the last couple years. And then for two, like, like, who they got over there? Like, for real, like, we always turn them up. Like, who they got over there? Like, but I think bigger style is spreading it around, throwing it, like, for some reason, that's, I don't know if he's doing it on purpose, but that's his style. So he got to be doing it on purpose. He just literally, he just throws the ball to everybody. Like, literally, I was re-watching the game because I had to be prepared for this video. And in the com the commentator was like, something, something, something. People's Jones is, you know, not gotten the catch yet. And then literally later in the game, he had two really big catches. One from Jarvis. And then the game went in touchdown. So, I was on point. Dog Pound stand up. Man. Shout out to the whole movement, man. Dog Pound, hey. Miles Garrett and them, y'all, hey, man. Let the, uh. Let the, let the independent media in, man. Let me in, man. I'm cool. I don't steal. What's up, dog, huh? Pussy challenge.